Sub surfing is also something that I love to do. And I decided to make this video to show you my progression and the review and three different boards that I got to acquire throughout the years. The first one I got was in 2018, I believe, the uh, Isle Subsurf uh, long board. So this was a beginner board and it's about uh, 10 feet long and about 108 liters. Now, it was a great sub surf and cruiser board to learn with. And here, as I started to surf, slowly I started using my feet to move my, my body around now to make turns. Now, it's a easy board to learn, great board to catch waves, but not, not the perfect for you to make sharp turns and so forth. However, it's a great all around uh, board, but not specifically made for surfing. But I had a good time with it uh, to start with. After learning how to ride on my cruiser, I got the my second board, which is a uh, Torpedo by Focus Hawaii. This is a 8.9 at 145 liters, set up in a quad fin setup. My first board was only one fin setup, and having a quad fin setup, man, this thing is super fun. That's when I started to use my body, throw my body around using the pedal and switch my feet as well. So this board was great uh, for speed, for big waves, and medium waves. However, in New England, uh, we have small choppy waves, which wasn't the ideal board on small days. However, when you have a little bit of wave, this thing was super fun. It's a great all around board and I highly recommend this board for anyone who's an intermediate surfer. So in 2021, two things happened, a good and a bad one. The good and bad one at the same time was for the fact that I got my e-foil, which took time away from me from subsurfing. So I found myself e-foiling a lot and I stopped uh, subsurfing. But at the same time, I found this amazing board, a star board, a Hypernaut 710 at 130 liters. This board, as you can see, is super, super snappy on small choppy waves, which is the condition here in Massachusetts. However, on long, big, huge waves, you lose a little bit of speed because a little bit short. It's only 710. But then again, uh, even though here I'm a, I'm a five foot uh, tall wave, you can see that I still got plenty of speed. However, this thing is super, super snappy. Having the quad fin and being so short, uh, and when you lock that pedal on the water, that thing snaps on a dime. It's a super fun board, especially for small, choppy, choppy waves. So that's why I ended end up keeping both of my latest board, which is the Torpedo for a all around uh, condition surf, uh, which you can use in big and small waves. And then I also kept my Hypernaut. And to be honest with you, if you are in a place which you have small choppy waves, nothing beats the Hypernaut. It feels like you're riding a small skateboard. It makes you feel like you're a teenager again. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you out if you're a subsurfer. And please consider subscribing and be good, be good to each other. Have a great day. Bye-bye.